Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess and here I will be posting all things fandom related, Disney, Harry Potter, Stranger Things, uh, Marvel, and more. So if that is something that interests you, then I would really appreciate it if you would stick around, like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and yeah. So today I figured what better video for my first video than a Walt Disney World haul. I just recently came back from Disney World. I'm probably gonna have to film this in a couple of different pieces. So if it kind of jumps around and I'm wearing something different and or if I post it in multiple parts, it's because I had a lot of things shipped home from the parks. So some things still have not arrived yet, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with what I currently have. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is possibly one of my favorite purchases of the entire trip. And based on the box, I'm sure you can tell it is a pair of the Disney Designer Collection ears. These came out the day before I arrived at the parks. So here is the inside of the box. These come so beautifully packaged. The inside of the box is like a velvet, like felt kind of material. And then they come in this very cute little velvet pouch. And if we open the pouch and take them out, they are the lounge fly ears. So they kind of have like a blue background and then they have all of the different Magic Kingdom park icons. So you have like the castle, a uh, churro, Mickey hat, the teacups, uh, orange bird, tiki room birds. There's the hat box ghost over there. And then it comes with this really pretty black sequin bow. And then it's just got the same kind of pattern on the back. And these were, I believe, oh, this let's say lounge fly on the side here. And these were, I believe, $48, which for the designer collection ears was actually pretty cheap. Um, most of them are in the like 78 to like a couple hundred dollar range. So I was very happy with this purchase. And of course, since I got the ears, I had to get the matching backpack. It is very beautiful. It has gold hardware on the zippers, this is lounge fly. And then you have the Disney Parks lounge fly logo right there. And then it's just got the same kind of all over print as the ears do. And I just thought that they were both so adorable and I had to have them. Okay, so the next two things that I'm going to show are two wishables and there's going to be a few more wishables later on. But so the first one that I have here is one of the Haunted Mansion wishables and this is Gus. He was the little completer one that you could buy separately. I'm trying to collect all of the Haunted Mansion wishables. So I had to have him. So cute with the little ball and chain there. So cute little hair. And he was, I believe, like $10. I think these are $9.99. And then we have Flounder from The Little Mermaid. This was also the completer one. Cute little stars in his eyes there. They didn't have any of the Little Mermaid wishables when I was actually in the park, like the mystery bags. I think that they might have sold out of them, but I'm hoping to eventually find them all, as you can see from this shelf behind me here. I'm a very big Little Mermaid fan, so I figured while he was here, I'll pick him up and see if I can find the other ones somewhere later along the line. So the next thing that I have to show is a picture frame. So I picked up this one. It's just the 2019 Walt Disney World photo frame. It's got all of the park icons. So it has Spaceship Earth, the castle, Cinderella Castle, the Tree of Life, and Tower of Terror on there. And then there's just a little castle spire here. And it says 2019 Walt Disney World. And then it's got a cute little Mickey Mouse there. And this was $24.99. And then the next two items that I have are pin purchases. So this time when we went, we stayed at the Port Orleans Riverside Resort. So I had to get a pin obviously to commemorate that. So I got this cute little one with Tiana from Princess and the Frog. It's not really showing up that well on camera. It just says Port Orleans Riverside Resort. And it has Tiana from Princess and the Frog in this cute little like floral kind of frame 
and she is actually holding Prince Naveen as a frog, and I just thought that it was an adorable pin. I love Princess and the Frog, and it was my first time staying at Port Orleans, so I thought this was a great pin to commemorate the trip. And then the next pin is a Marie pin. Marie and the Aristocats obviously are one of my favorites, so I saw this pin, and I thought that she was just so cute, so I had to pick her up. So the pin has kind of like a floral detailing on the back. It has a little bit of a rhinestone, um, pink rhinestone detail on her bow collar. And then she's just smiling, looking all cute. So I'm very excited to add this to my Marie pin collection. Next items that I have to show are all in this giant bag here. Got one of the Magic Kingdom reusable bags while I was there because obviously Disney is trying to make the transition to being, um, to not, no longer using plastic bags. So I figured buying one of these while I was there would be great so that the next time that I go, I can just bring these with me and carry them in the parks and just put all of my purchases in here. And I love the Magic Kingdom one. So getting into this bag, the first thing I'm gonna show, and it got kind of bent up in transport home, it is, this Halloween 2019 reusable tote bag. On the back, it says, point me to the candy. And it has different candy corns and different types of Halloween candy. On the other side also has the characters all dressed up. So you have Mickey as a vampire, Minnie as a witch, Werewolf Goofy, Mummy Pluto, and Donald Duck. I guess he's a Grim Reaper. I just thought it was very cute and very spooky and festive for the season that I was there. Next is two more wishables. They are both Haunted Mansion wishables. I actually bought four bags of, no, probably like six bags of these, but I got doubles, so gave away the other ones. Um, and two of them I still have not opened and they are in shipment to me now. So maybe I'll do an unboxing, unbagging, I guess, of them for you here when they come in. So we have Ezra and Phineas, I believe these are. So this one is Ezra. Got his cute little bow tie, his little hat. I love that the wishables have the little stars in their eyes. They're just so cute. I was really trying to like feel up these bags and figure out which ones were which. And I thought that I had grabbed different ones and I ended up just, I kept getting Ezra and Phineas. So he's got his little suitcase bag there, little hat. I love these wishables. I think that they're so cute that I could literally just buy like every collection of them, but I had to limit myself. So I picked Haunted Mansion and Little Mermaid as ones that I want to collect because can't go too crazy. Of course, I can't go to the Disney parks without making a plushie purchase. I really tried not to, but the last day that we were in the parks, I found these guys in the Emporium and I just had to pick them up because I have never seen them before. And Nightmare Before Christmas is one of my favorites. So they are getting it caught on the handles of the bag they are lock shock and barrel plushies look at how cute they are they're all kind of like connected with like the little plastic like tag things um I'll probably break them apart but just for the sake of keeping them together and everything make sure I got them home I just kept them all together but they're gonna be a perfect Halloween decoration and Christmas decoration because Nightmare Before Christmas stuff stays up like almost all year in my house. So I'm very excited about them. These guys were $29.99. Forgot the list prices of the pins, but I don't actually remember. I think most of the pins that I bought were in the $9.99 to $12.99 range. Um, the pins, unfortunately, don't have prices listed on the backs of them anymore. The next purchase is one that I'm very excited about and something that I have been eyeing for a very long time, but I was kind of waiting until I was actually in the parks to purchase this, and especially because it was in Disney stores recently, but I was like, nope, I want to buy it when I'm at the parks because I'm just weird like that. But it is the Haunted Mansion Spirit Jersey. And it glows in the dark, which I am so excited about. So on the front left here, it says Ghost Host. And it has one of the little like wallpaper ghosty guys. And then the back, 
has the haunted mansion across the back and then the bottom has the wallpaper print on it and it is just like this gorgeous like haunted mansion like purple and i got this one in a medium a Obviously, spirit jerseys fit kind of on the larger side, but I also just like long sleeves and things like this to fit kind of larger anyway. So I go with a medium, and I forget, I think they're, I want to say $65. I might be wrong. They're in the like $60 to $70 range. But I also have a Disney Visa card, so I do get the Disney Visa discount. So a lot of the stuff I did get a 10% discount on. Next thing I'm going to show is another spirit jersey. I went kind of spirit jersey crazy, but well, I only got two, but that's, they're expensive. So it's kind of crazy. Um, but I just had to have this one. I, I had to pick up the Halloween spirit jersey. Look how gorgeous this is. So it's got like a sparkly detailing all over it. So black spirit jersey with like the sparkle detail, the front left has the Disney World D with a little Mickey pumpkin and established 1971. Obviously the other park was open and even the like writing on the jersey also has this glittering inside of it which I thought was so cool and then the back it's Walt Disney World with the Mickey pumpkin in the middle the D and of course the font is like this candy corn kind of like ombre effect color which I just thought was so cool and so spooky and I actually wore this one home on the plane and it was actually pretty cozy at first I was afraid that it was going to be kind of itchy because of the like glitter detail looks like it's kind of like in the thread of the spirit jersey but it actually is not that scratchy at all you don't even feel it the next purchase that I have to show is one of the Starbucks Been There series mugs that they have come out with now for the parks. It used to be You Are Here and now it's Been There. Um, last time I went, I purchased the Magic Kingdom one, but the little um, ornament version of it. But this one I liked so much that I had to get it in the full-size mug. And it is the Magic Kingdom one. So it just is the box. It says Starbucks Been There series. It's Disney Parks down in the corner and then the Magic Kingdom one has this really pretty like corally orange color in the box and let's open it up and here is the mug I'm gonna take it out it says Magic Kingdom and then it has all of the different parks icons it says the most magical place on earth on the other side. So we've got a Dole Whip. We've got the uh, Hatbox Ghost. Sorry, we have Pirates of the Caribbean. The Castle. Tiki Birds. Tinkerbell. It's a small world. And then the inside is just the prettiest blue color. And these are about, I think, $18.99. Somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, I am obsessed with this and I cannot wait to start using it. And now on to pin purchases. So I kind of went crazy with pin purchases. Um, I have a kind of small but growing pin collection. So most of the souvenirs that I did end up buying myself were pin related things. So this first one is a Frozen pin. Frozen is one of my favorite movies and I'm trying to make it one of my main pin collections and Olaf and Sven are two of my favorite characters and it has the little snowy guys on Sven's back with Olaf and I just thought that this was the cutest pin ever and like I said all of the pins that I bought I think were in the $9.99 to $12.99 range um, I think they were mostly either the silver or yellow next one was an Expedition Everest pin and this one, so it has a little Yeti and Everest, the Everest ride track and some of the mountains and like this cute little like purple and blue coloring. And then it says Expedition Everest down the bottom here. And then the Yeti is kind of a moving like pin on pin detail here. And I thought it was so cute. This is actually the first time that I rode Expedition Everest. Last year when I went to 
Disney World. It was my first time ever going. Um, and we didn't get to make it to Animal Kingdom. So this time we did and I got to ride Expedition Everest. So I wanted to commemorate that by buying this adorable pin. Next, we have a Halloween party, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party exclusive pin. This is the limited edition Oogie Boogie pin. As I pointed out before, I love Nightmare Before Christmas. It is one of my favorite movies for Christmas or Halloween. So when I saw that there was this Oogie Boogie pin, I had to pick it up. So it has these little pumpkins on the side that say boo to you and then Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2019. And then this is a sliding element. And when you slide it, it reveals lock, shock, and barrel. And so it's Oogie Boogie with, oop, it moved a little bit more. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. It's Oogie Boogie with lock, shock, and barrel. And this was limited edition of, I believe, 3,000. Let me check. Take it off the back. Now, these were limited edition of 5600 I want to say. 5600 And this pin was $17.99. A little bit more pricey, but because it's exclusive and limited edition. The next pin that I have is this cute little like, mini silhouette. So it's just a black little silhouette. A mini head with a cute little red and white polka dot bow on top. And I have a thing for these Mickey and Minnie like silhouette pins. I have like so many of them. I have all those different like box lunch ones where it's like the different foods or like the different um, like the rose gold one that they came out with the mini one. Um, so yeah, I just think that these are so cute and they come in so many different like colors and designs. So I saw this one and thought that it was adorable and would go great in my collection. Next one that I have to show you is this inside out pin. So it is a silhouette of Riley's head and it says today I'm feeling and then it has all of the different characters in here. So there is a little lever here that you can kind of spin and it has all of the different um, emotions in Riley's head. So you have joy. I'm losing it here. Joy anger all of the characters and i am a future school counselor so i thought that this pin would be something really cute to have and wear on my id lanyard uh you know as just a cute little nod to psychology and counseling um i thought that this was a really cute pin next is the tower of terror mickey silhouette pin um says the little tower of terror bellhop outfit and then Mickey's ears are this little like lightning detailing. And Tower of Terror is one of my favorite rides in just all of Disney World. Um, I think it's so fun and I love the, the Twilight Zone theming to it. So I saw this pin and had to pick it up. Next is another Frozen pin. This one I bought in the gift shop of the Frozen Ever After ride. And it is Anna and Elsa with Olaf, kind of like that scene um, when they're kids in the beginning of the movie and Elsa builds Olaf and Anna's kind of hugging him. Um, so you can see them there. And there's these glitter elements on Olaf and on the snow on the ground. And then you've got Anna there in a green, her green nightgown and Elsa in her blue nightgown. And then there's like a snowy background and it's like a pin on pin. You can tell Anna and Elsa and Olaf are kind of a pin on the background. So I thought this one was just adorable. I love baby Anna and Elsa and anything to do with Olaf. So I thought this would be perfect for my Frozen collection. The next pin that I have to show is one of the free buttons that you can get in the parks. Um, when I went, I went with my girlfriend and we were celebrating her 25th birthday. So she obviously got one of the birthday pins and she wore it basically the entire weekend. It was so cute. All the cast members were wishing her a happy birthday. Um, one of the cast members even gave us free popcorn and was like, it's on Mickey for your birthday, which I thought was just the sweetest, nicest thing. And so to commemorate that, I got the I'm celebrating and it kind of rubbed off from the heat and me just like sweating all over it because it was grossly hot 
in Orlando. It does say Lindsay's 25th birthday on it, and I was, I'm celebrating with Goofy with the hat, and then it says Walt Disney World on the bottom. I have another one of these that we got for our first visit, um, and obviously the first visit one from last year, so I'm going to add this one up on my pin board right next to the other ones. This next pin is one of the limited edition pins for the opening of Galaxy's Edge. So this one is Kylo Ren. This little lightsaber. And I just thought that this one was so cute. It's Kylo Ren with his lightsaber and it says Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And I just kind of like really love Kylo Ren. I think he's a really interesting kind of villain character. I thought that this pin was just very cute and a good way to commemorate going to Galaxy's Edge. So this pin is limited edition of 3,500. And it's like a pretty decent sized pin too. And this one was $17.99. The next pin that I have to show is a limited edition pin from the Food and Wine Festival. Um, obviously, the Epcot Food and Wine Festival has been going on since the end of August, and it's going until sometime in November, I believe. Um, so, obviously, while we were there, we had to go check out the food, check out the drinks, um, and so I wanted to get some pins to commemorate that, and... I saw this Cinderella one and it was just perfect. Cinderella is actually one of my mom's favorite princesses. So I've always kind of had a soft spot for Cinderella. The pin backings on these are super cute. This is the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2019 limited edition. And then it is a pin on pin design with Cinderella holding a little, the little tray with uh, Jack and Gus Gus. And I just thought it was such a cute pin. And the this one is... Oh, and this one has two pin posts on the back. And this pin was $17.99 as well. I think most of the limited edition pins are $17.99. I can get the backing off. And the edition size is out of... 4,000. The next pin is one of the ones that was released um, for the Halloween season and it is one of the Nightmare Before Christmas like Haunted Mansion stretching room portrait collab kind of pins, mashup pins. Um, so this one is Sally as the tightrope walker. The tightrope walker portrait is one of my favorites in the stretching room. I think it's most people's favorite um, and Sally is one of my favorite characters. I dressed up as her for the Halloween party, so I saw this and I just had to have it. And it's so cute. She's standing on a little tightrope with the umbrella and then the snake um, from the movie that Jack gives as one of the like spooky Christmas presents is actually the alligator from the stretching portrait which I think is adorable. This next pin here I got in Epcot um, in the Italy Pavilion, and it is just Mickey Mouse, the Italian flag. I am Italian, and so when we were in the Italy Pavilion, I just thought that this would be very cute to add to, it's not really a Mickey silhouette, but I thought it would be cute to go with that collection and to kind of commemorate being in Epcot and seeing the Italy Pavilion and just, yeah, I just thought that this was a very cute pin. The next thing I have to show isn't a pin. It's one of the mystery boxes that Wonder Around Gallery had. Um, it's one of the Haunted Mansion ones. They were very pricey. They were like $20, but I was like, what the heck, I'm on vacation. And the cashier, the cast member at the register in the pin shop totally convinced me to buy it. Um, and so the one that I ended up getting was the little clock tower. I just thought that this was so cute. They were all really cute. There was um, the tightrope walker. There was, I'm pretty sure there was a hatbox ghost. There was a whole bunch of different options that you could get. And I honestly would have been happy getting any one of them. 
So this one is the little clock, and I am so excited about him. I'll probably put him... I don't really have a Haunted Mansion shelf, so I have my pop back there. So maybe I will throw him with those. So the next pin that I got is a Little Mermaid pin. And Little Mermaid is another one of my big pin collections. It's Ariel is my favorite Disney princess. It was my favorite Disney movie growing up. So... I saw this one and I thought it was just so funny. It is Sebastian looking all grumpy and it says the human world, it's a mess. It's one of my favorite lines from the movie. Sebastian's one of my favorite characters. So I saw this pin and just had to pick it up. And I am back with part two. Sorry for the outfit change and everything. I had to kind of suddenly stop filming. Um, and so now I have all the rest of the things that I purchased and I'm filming the rest of the haul. So I'm gonna continue back up with the pins that I purchased. So this one is actually the last pin that I purchased and it is for the Ariel um, Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid ride in Magic Kingdom. There it is. It's got Ariel and uh, Flounder and Sebastian and then all of the um, animals from the Under the Sea uh, scene in the movie. And when we went this time, it was actually my first time riding that ride um, because last year when I went, we didn't get a chance to. Um, so... Little Mermaid being one of my favorite movies, um, and the ride was just incredible. I honestly cried, like, most of the way through the ride, so I just had to get a pin to commemorate that, so I picked this one up. Okay, and so the rest of the pins that I have are all pins ones that I got from Mystery Bags. Um, we did a lot of buying of, like, Mystery Bags just to get some extra traders because we each kind of went with only, like, four or five pins to trade, um, so we bought a lot of Mystery Bags to see if there was some that we would get that we wanted to keep and then to have some more to trade in the park. So I'm going to just get started. Oh, this is a Marie pin. Um, it came from those little, um, I forget what the series is called, but they come in like the little bags, like the little pouches, like the hidden Mickey pins. Um, but so this one had all different like Disney pets. And so this one had Marie. I literally bought like two or three of these bags and ended up getting Marie in my first one actually because I saw that she was a possibility and I was like oh I have to get her it's a little like collar with a little fish on it and then Marie looking all cute and smiley this is another one that came out of a mystery bag so we bought um a bag of the delicious drinks um mystery pins I have a couple of them already um, so the one, we just kind of split between the two of us, which ones we wanted. And one of them ended up being the Little Mermaid one. So of course that one went to me. So it's a sea witch special sea foam made with real seaweed. Net contents 11.17 ounces. And then it's got little Ursula tentacles coming out of the water. And I think the colors on this one are just so pretty. And yeah, I am. Oh, it also has a little seashell on it. And I'm just really excited about this one. Of all the delicious drinks one, this is the ones. The, of all the delicious drinks ones, this is the one that I definitely wanted the most. This one came out of a mystery bag that I purchased. Um, It was the one, I don't know what the series is called, but it's all the little like Mickey silhouettes with like all the different characters. Um kind of like filled in. So this one was the Jack Skellington one. And obviously, as I mentioned before, I collect Nightmare Before Christmas. So this one definitely went into the keep pile. This one was another one from a mystery pouch. Um, this was the, um, I think it was the ride, uh, the attractions uh, mystery set. So this one is for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. So it says Fantasyland, Fight in Seven. And then it's got all the dwarves in a little uh, mine car. And it says seven on the bottom. And it's in kind of like a diamond shape. Another Snow White pin. And another one from the Delicious Drink series. This is the Miner's Mineral Water. So it just has a little like diamond and two axes. 
It's on a really pl pretty blue background. And yeah, I think most of the Delicious Drinks ones we just ended up keeping because honestly, this is a really cool series. This is another one that came out of the same mystery pouches that the Marie one I showed you came from. And this one is the Siamese Cats from Lady and the Tramp. When I got this one, I had to keep them because honestly, they're like two of my favorite characters from Lady and the Tramp, but also I was petrified of them as a child. <laughs> I have distinct memories of watching this movie for the first time and being like scarred for life by them. So the same thing as the Marie has the little cat on the little collar and this one is on like a purple and blue background. And I just thought they were really cute. This is another one that came from that park attractions uh, mystery bag. This is for Soren. It says Soren Sky Gliders, and then it just has the little Soren glider um, with some clouds in the background. This one might end up going in my trade pile. We'll see. Next is another one from the Delicious Drink series. This is the Bugs Life one. Um, so it is the Dots Natural Nectar, and it's got a little picture of Dot at the top. And A Bug's Life was actually one of my favorite Disney Pixar movies as a child. And I was pretty sure it was Dot. I was Dot for Halloween once when I was like maybe five or six. So definitely had to hold on to this one just because of the memories. Okay, so the next pin is one from the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. Um, I bought my girlfriend a bunch of those uh, mystery blind boxes. Um, that had all the different countries um, and different characters on them um, and so there was a couple that she didn't want so she gave me one of them um, and this one is Grumpy um, and he represented the Germany Pavilion so it's him with a little pretzel and I'm honestly not sure what the landmark is in the background of this but there he is She did give me another one too, and I don't remember which one it was, but I know I traded it away, um, but I figured I would hold on to the grumpy one. And next are the rest of those pins from the little like Mickey um, silhouette series. The final two are the Mickey and Minnie from that mystery bag set. We actually got them both in the same bag, which I thought was really funny. Um, so yeah, here is Mickey. Just the basic little black top with his red pants and then here is the mini mouse with her little dress with the red polka dot skirt and her red polka dot bow and then just little black ears i really like this series i might try to collect all of them we'll see not sure but i do really like little mickey silhouette pins and there was a lot of really good characters and there's stitch in there and just a whole bunch of characters that i really like so. And then the next pin is actually the one that you get when you make your lightsaber. Um, so there's the four different types of lightsabers, like elemental nature, power, um, I forget what the other two are, but there's four different types. And so when you go up to um, Sabi's workshop, they ask you which type of lightsaber you want to build, and then they give you a pin that corresponds with that type of lightsaber to wear. Um, on your chest as, when you're in the workshop making the lightsaber. So I chose the Elemental Nature lightsaber because I thought it was just the coolest. I'm going to show it to you later in the haul, but here's the pin. It's just this really pretty like rose gold design. Next is a Hidden Mickey pin. Um, this is from one of the new pouches that they recently released in the parks. And this is the Pain and Panic. And I was really excited about them. I do really like Pain and Panic. They're some of my favorite kind of like villain sidekicks. Um, so I was really happy to get this pin. This next one um, is another one from that like villains um, mystery bag set. But like I think it had like heroes and villains. Um, this one is Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. My girlfriend had purchased a bag of these. And when she pulled Oogie Boogie out, she just handed him right to me. I was like, here you go. So now I have this cute little Oogie Boogie to add to my Nightmare collection. And as you can tell by the ears that I'm wearing, I am a little bit obsessed with Oogie Boogie. So I'm very excited about that one. Um, by the way, these ears, they came from a small shop. Um, they were a birthday present for my girlfriend. If anybody would like to know what shop they are from, just let me know and I'll ask her and I will leave it down below for you guys.
Next pins that I'm going to show came from the little um, nesting dolls mystery bag. So I really wanted, which one did I really want from it? I think I really wanted the Anna and Elsa ones. Didn't get any of them, but I did get a lot of cute ones. Some of them I did end up throwing in for trade or giving them to my girlfriend, but there was a few that I wanted to keep. So this one is Rapunzel. Look how cute she is with little Pascal. Loved her. And then the next one is Mary Poppins. Funny story, when I opened it, my girlfriend was like, who has a bird? Why is there a bird? And I was like, oh, that's Mary Poppins. There's a bird on her umbrella. So very excited about her. She's very cute. I do like that they included the umbrella with the bird on it. And then I got Cinderella, which of course, Cinderella being one of my mom's favorite princesses, I was very excited to have this. And then last but not least is Merida. And I was so excited about this one. I don't have a lot of Merida pins, but Brave is one of my favorite Disney movies. I cried so hard the most of the way through that movie, honestly. So I was really excited to get this pin and I thought that she just looked very cool and very pretty. So I'm gonna do the last box of items that came that I had shipped home from the park. So we went to World of Disney in Disney Springs and oh my God, I was so overwhelmed. I wanted to buy just literally everything in the whole store it was amazing um but one of my missions was i wanted to get myself a puzzle i'm really into making puzzles um or building putting together puzzles um i've really been liking those thomas kincaid ones um i think that the art is just so beautiful and so i wanted to try to find one of those um but there wasn't really one that like super spoke to me um there was a four pack that had a little mermaid one and I was really like excited about that and was gonna get that one but then it had I think it had a Beauty and the Beast one in it that I had already um bought separately and put together so but I really wanted a little mermaid puzzle if I could find one and then I saw this So this is one of the, it says Disney Parks, Signature Puzzle, The Little Mermaid. And this was actually from the 25th anniversary of the film. And it is a thousand piece puzzle. And I'm going to hate myself because the entire background is just all like the same color. So I'm going to be a little bit miserable and frustrated putting this together. But it's going to be a lot of fun. And I thought that it was a really pretty um, piece of art. And this one was $21.99. Next, I bought myself two more Haunted Mansion Wishables. I stood here like an idiot in the store, like squeezing the bags, trying to feel around and feel which ones they were. So hopefully they're Constance and the Hatchbox Ghost and not another Ezra and Phineas, but we will see. I will probably do an unbagging of them for you guys on the channel, so stay tuned for that. The last item that I have to show for you is something that I got in the Mexico Pavilion um, in the little crystal shop that's in there. Um, if you go in and off to the left, um, we were kind of poking around and everything was so beautiful, but a lot of stuff is super expensive. I mean, this wasn't the cheapest thing I could have bought, but I saw it and I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I went to go check out. I was going to get a couple things for my mom and or well, a thing for my mom. And I was like, should I get it? And my girlfriend was like, yeah you want it you should get it so it is a little trinket box so it came in a box like this and then you slide off a little thing and then it's in this blue box that says disney on the front and then if you open the box everything's all nice and like padded inside and then it is in bubble wrap And a little plastic bag but I'm sure you can see through at this point and you can kind of tell who this is so it is my girl Marie she's a little trinket box the little cushion that she's sitting on opens up and you put probably like rings little things like that in here I'm mostly probably going to just use her as a decoration. She's so cute. She's got little rhinestone details on the sides and on her bow. 
and I just thought that she was so pretty and so cute and I don't really have a lot of Marie um kind of like little collectible things I have a little uh Jim Shore I think um and then like some ornaments but there's not really a whole lot in terms of little collectible figurines like this of Marie so I saw her and had to pick her up and last but certainly not least we have my droid and lightsaber so like I said, I went with the Elemental Nature lightsaber because I just thought that the design on that one just really fit me and was very cool. So they give you these cute little carrying cases to put them in because obviously they don't want you to take them out in the parks and their whole thing is you can't let the First Order see that you're a Jedi, you have your lightsaber or whatever. Um, but really I think it's just that they don't want you walking around having lightsaber duels in the park and hurting somebody. <laughs> which obviously, um, so they give you this nice little carrier to sheep it up in. Um, so it had a lot of things that had kind of like a little like rose gold detail on it. Um, and just like the like hilt of it and everything just had, a th I thought really pretty patterns that kind of fit my personality the best. And there was also this badass rancor tooth that you could get on the end. Like, look at that. Obviously I chose to get it on mine. So here is my elemental nature lightsaber and these are like really like sturdy and heavy I was kind of surprised it's like an actual like kind of like metal e like heavy plastic like material um and then this is the blade and then if I turn it on how cool is that So I decided to go with a purple blade for my lightsaber. This is purple out of all the color options was my favorite. Turn it off. Um, out of all the color options, purple was my favorite. And I feel like it's also the most rare for a lightsaber. They even say it during the um, little like pre-show kind of thing. Or not really the pre-show, but they do. It's like a little like a show an experience kind of with the whole process of building your lightsaber and so they even say that purple is one of the more rare colors so I just thought it was very cool so I decided to go with that one and then last but not least we have my droid so when you go to the Droid Depot, you have two options. You can make a BB unit or you can make an R2 unit. I chose to make a BB unit because I just, I love R2 obviously in the original series, but just I fell in love with BB-8 and his personality in the new trilogy. So I had to go with a little BB unit. They come in these cute little carrying boxes. Um, they do make like backpack bag things that you can get to carry them around the parks, um, but they were unfortunately sold out of them when we were there. So just had to get the little typical carrying case, but it was cute. It kind of reminded me of a Build-A-Bear. <laughs> they like, came in the little uh, houses. So let me open up the box. So you get the droid and then you also get a little remote that has all the controls, you have the up and down, side to side, and these are to talk, and then these spin him around. And then here is my little BB unit. He's currently off um, just because when I'm not using him, just to save batteries and everything. Um, but I decided to go with this cute little purple and black and white model. Because again, purple, one of my favorite colors. So that's him. If you guys want to see any kind of like tutorial on how to use the droid or like see him in action, let me know and I would gladly make a video for you. Okay, and that is it. That is my Disney World 2019 haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I would love it if you would comment down below. Let me know what your favorite thing was. Are we twins on any items? Especially the pins. If we're pin twins, let me know. I would love to hear. Um, if you have any haul vi videos of your own from your recent trips to Disney World, I would love to watch those as well. If you could link them down below. I love watching hauls and unboxings and things like that. 
Um, also, let me know what kind of videos that you would like to see me make in the future. Again, I'm probably going to do uh, hauls, unboxings, um, hopefully vlogs at some point soon. Um, so yeah, um, like and subscribe as well if you're interested in seeing any more content from me. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.